This is the life story of Rei Takashi. Rei Takashi is one of the most popular Japanese voice actress. Rei Takashi is most notably known for three highly popular roles. She voiced one of the main character Megumin from Konosuba. Secondly, she voiced the main heroine Emilia from ReZero. And then lastly, she voiced Mashka Relight in Fate Grand Order. Not only she is one of the most popular voice actress, but she is also one of the most talented voice actress. Rei Takashi won the 581 Special Award Nippon BS Broadcasting Award. She ranked as the 12 most favorite people in my anime list. And in top 20, she is the youngest person in the list. And not only that, she even won in the biggest Seiyo Award as Best Female Newcomer at the 10th Seiyo Award in 2016. In her career, Rei Takashi voiced 28 anime main roles, voiced 33 supporting roles, and also voiced 25 characters in video games. She's only in the industry as a voice actress for 8 years, but she is one of the most talented voice actress right now. So we are going to start on how Rei Takashi became the Rei Takashi we all know right now. Rei Takashi was born on February 27, 1994 in Saitama Prefecture. In the kindergarten, Rei Takashi is different from other kids. Other kids around her is saying they want to become a partitioner, want to become a florist, but Rei Takashi is different. She thought that becoming a singer was cool, so she got interested to become a singer. She said that she was not particularly good in singing, so it was more like a vague feeling wanting to become a singer. And she also said that she just a kid who was not against the idea of standing in front of people. She's that kind of kid wanted to do something that is different from the rest. That's why she joined the neighborhood theater as well as doing rhythmic gymnastics for around 8 years while learning to play a piano. At a young age, Rei Takashi is really passionate into learning something. When she was in elementary school, she volunteered to become a reader for karuta competition for around 4 to 5 years. Rei Takashi received a lot of compliment to the other kids. They said that Rei Takashi voice is pleasing on the ears. That time, she had not inspired to become a voice actress. But Rei Takashi think that it was start of her interest in the voice related activities. Then during her junior high school, Rei Takashi is a type of student that was so engrossing club activities and also member of the student council. And the reason she joined the student council, because she really loves event and class activities. Then also in junior high school, Rei Takashi tried out many different things. She even joined the soft tennis club, but she is not a regular member. Also, while she is in junior high school, Rei Takashi is really into funky monkeys babies. So much that she will go to their live show and also buy their CDs and merchandise, and even went to Hachioji where they started. At that time, Rei Takashi is really into music, that's why she will go to their local CD rental store to check out the Oricon chart ranking and rent everything home, and Rei Takashi listened to them on her MD player that she got from her dad. One of her memorable songs in junior high school was she had a special ringtone whenever she received a message from her crush. It was Kowino Download by Nakama Yuki. Also during junior high school, Rei Takashi started getting into anime because of Higurashi and Soul Eater. During that time, Rei Takashi noticed that a lot of male characters were voiced by female. For example, Luffy and Goku is voiced by female. Because of that, Rei Takashi interested by that fact. In her third year of junior high school, that she decided that she wanted to become a voice actress. After graduating from junior high school and Rei Takashi is a high school student, she already had all the materials for becoming a voice actress. So she was really determined to go that path. However, her parents insisted on graduating first, so she joined the broadcasting club while also she practicing in high school. After she joined the broadcasting club, Rei Takashi won a special citation for voice acting at the 4th high school animation fair. During her third year of high school, she also joined the live music club because she thinks that broadcasting club was inefficient and she wanted to practice more. And also she bought a Les Paul because Rei Takashi is a fan of Kayon. And she knew how to play a guitar, that's why she joined the live music club. However, she always on the broadcasting club because she really liked being in the recording studio for the club activities. And also, she can talk about otaku related topics. However, back then the general opinion about otaku was not too well received. And since the live music club was more on the fashion side, Rei Takashi kept Kayon on a secret from everyone inside the live music club. Instead, she would give a suggestion to play any song 
also she will bring a tea and sweet to the club. Everyone was wondering why she did that, but she still continue it, and then she will start a girl's talk while they are enjoying after school tea. If you don't know about Kayon, after school tea time is the band name of the live music club in Kayon. They choose that name for their band because all they do in their club was to have a girl's talk, eating sweet, and drink tea in the club. So all the things Rita Kashis do is that she's replicating all the things in Kayon, and they sing a honey song without her fellow club member knowing what she is doing. Also during high school, Rita Kashi watched a lot of anime for the purpose of becoming a voice actress. And after entering the broadcasting club, she found that expression of voices to be interesting, and that's how she became a Seiyu Otaku. Rita Kashi said that it was not the anime themselves that captivated her, but the narrative behind the acting. She became interested in the past record of the voice actor in their life side. After she looking into them, she discovered that there are already people in their age group in the industry. And since she liked watching their singing and dancing expression, she even went to Spirit and Style Lip concert several times. For her, it was not so much on gaining more in-depth knowledge about the anime, but rather it was the moment that she grew more invested in the world of voice acting, especially voice actress. So Rita Kashi decided to audition in 81 Produce, but on the first audition, she did not receive any notification of passing, which left Rita Kashi shocked. After that, she knew that she had to work harder. Because of that, Rita Kashi managed to represent the broadcasting club at the national meet. And she wrote that down on her records and took audition one year later again. And this time, Rita Kashi managed to win the special prize with Reina Ueda, one of her closest friends. Reina Ueda, Rita Kashi, and also Wataru Komada auditioned in the same time in 81 Produce and also went training school together. They are part of the 5th 81 audition back in August 1, 2011. Both Reina Ueda and Rita Kashi win the special prize. Reina Ueda received the Shugakukan Award and Rita Kashi received the Nippon BS Broadcasting Award while Wataru Kumada was selected for Excellent Award. For Rita Kashi, the award she won was more of her earning the rights to begin training at their facility even if she had not formally entered the agency but Rita Kashi thinks that it was a big step for her. After graduating from high school in 2012, Rita Kashi began attending in 81's Produce Training School, 81's Actor Studio. Her first work was for 81 Studio Audition Commercial Narration. She went to the recording studio, read out telephone numbers, and she practiced a lot. It was first time for Rita Kashi to do that. While continuing with her lesson, Rita Kashi became part of the voice actress unit called Anisonia together with fellow trainee voice actress. Reina Ueda, Chieri Hayashida, and Kayato Chumita but unfortunately, the Anisonia is no longer exists. Both Reina Ueda and Rita Kashi are the only members that managed to become a voice actress. After graduating from the 81 Actor Studio in 2013, Rita Kashi formally joined in 81's Produce. Also in 2013, Rita Kashi debuted role as a background role in Stella Women's Academy. The first role she played as a girl C, and her line was, I'll be traveling with my family. Then she voiced Drilan and Aikatsu. She also voiced the role of a student in a voice comic stream of the online manga Pokemon Card Game XY Yaruze. While doing a voice acting work, Rita Kashi also worked in a lot of different kind of job before. Even though she debuted, she's still working in a part-time job. She worked as a waitress in a family restaurant, receptionist in a port center, and a salesperson in a supermarket. She even worked at late night job in a bra packaging factory. Then in 2014, while in the recording studio, Rita Kahashi, Marika Kono, and Yuki Nagaku had the chance to meet the legendary Masako Nazawa, the voice of San Goku from Dragon Ball series. If you remember back in junior high school, the reason that Rita Kahashi wanted to become a voice actress is because she really admired the voice actress voicing a male character. And she managed to meet one of the famous voice actress that are voicing a male character. And at that time, Rita Kashi was recording her first lead role, Futaba Ichinose, one of the three main characters from Soriga Seiyu that will air in summer of 2015. She is accompanied by Marika Kono and Yuki Nagaku, and the three of them formed the Seiyu Idol unit, Earphones. Originally, Earphones is just an idol group consisting of the three main characters for the anime Soriga Seiyu, but Earphones soon become a real idol group. After Rita Kashi debuted and being an Earphone, Rita Kashi believes that joining Earphone was the best way to bring out her potential and to distinguish herself from other voice actress. 
she realized that even among all the senior, every one of them has their own strategy on how to stand out from the rest. So no one is doing the same thing. That is what gave Rita Takashi the resolve to join earphones. When she started activities with earphones, she thinks that it was different from the image of the boys actress units that she had in her mind. But she thinks it's all good since she got head towards an interesting direction. She thinks that earphones is really great for her. Fast forward in summer 2015, Rita Takashi has a three anime lead roles. The first is Soriga Seiyu, then the second is her first time voicing a male character. She will voice Kobayashi Yoshio from Round Pokitan. And her third role for summer 2015 is she will voice one of the main character, Miki Naoki from School Lib. Also, Rita Takashi and the other School Lib cast, Inori Minase, Ari Ozawa, and Mao Ichimichi performed the opening theme song for School Lib, Friends Shitai. And later that year, she voiced as the lead role Kaon Lanchester from Comet Lucifer. And the year 2016 comes. 2016 is a big year for Rita Takashi's career because she became really famous when she voiced the two main characters from the two most popular light novel, Emilia from ReZero and Megumin from Konosuba. And also Rita Takashi and co-star Sorama Mia and Aikayano performed the Konosuba ending theme song, Chisana Bokensha. <laughs> Also in 2016, Rita Takashi will be replacing Risa Taneda for voicing Mash Kairilite from Fate Grand Order. Fate Grand Order is a anime and also one of the most popular mobile gacha games. And then in March 12, 2016, she won in the biggest Seiyo Award as Best Female Newcomer at the 10th Seiyo Award. Then during 2017, Rita Takashi is the narrator in the Japanese version of Gran Turismo Sport. In 2017 also, Rita Takashi is back again to voice Megumin for the second season of Konosuba. Where Rita Takashi, Sora Amamiya, and Aikeano perform again for Konosuba Season 2 and Din Ting Song, Oichini Karitai. Then in 2018, she voiced the lead character Takagi-san from Teasing Master Takagi-san. Where Rita Takashi also performed the series ending theme song. Then next year in 2019, Kadokawa made a mobile app called Isekai that you can talk to a Isekai character. And the first character they put is Megumin voiced by Rita Takashi. And also Rita Takashi back again to voice Takagi-san from Teasing Master Takagi-san. Where Rita Takahashi performs again for the series ending theme song. Later that year in December 31, 2019, before 2020, Hazela YouTube channel uploaded their very first video and it was cooking video of Rita Takashi in a maid uniform and being a cute maid. And they also do a live stream while Rita Takashi cooking. Like I said, she wear different type of maid uniform. On the other stream, she wear different type of chef uniform or even just a casual wear. Sadly, for those people who don't understand Japanese because it doesn't have a subtitle. But still, all the food she cooks are look so delicious. And also, Rita Takashi is on over 25 video of Hazelai. With other video has some guests like Subaru's VA Yusuke Kobayashi, Kazuma's VA Jun Bokushima. And then for 2020, Rita Takashi voiced the lead character Hime Goto from Kakushi Goto. And for summer, she will back again to voice Emilia and also Satella from ReZero Season 2. And she will also voice Sumi Sakurasawa from Kanojo Okarsimas. Then in 2021, during Rita Takashi's birthday in February 27, a lot of things happened. First is that another popular gacha game, Mihoyo's Genshin Impact, announced a new character named Hu Tao that will be voiced by Rita Takashi herself. And secondly, Rita Takashi announced her solo music career. So Rita Takashi will be debuting as a solo music artist. And Rita Takashi will be under the Japanese music label, A Sketch. Who is also affiliated with artists like One OK Rock, The Oral Cigarette, and many more. We all know that Rita Takashi is not new on singing. As I mentioned earlier, she performed to a lot of ending theme song. 
And also, Rita Kashi has a multiple single and multiple collaboration singles. And the song she is well known is the most iconic ending theme song from Red Zero, Stay Alive, back in 2016. Then in March 4, 2021, Rita Kashi also announced in her blog that Rita Kashi Official Members Club has been established, which is called Rico or Takaha Private Tree High School. Also in 2021, Rita Kashi is back again voicing Mash Kairi Light for the Fate Grand Order movies. And for summer, she will voice one of the lead character Shino Kiryo from Kanojo Mo Kanojo. Also, she will back again to voice lead character Himi Goto for the Kakushi Goto movie. Then in June 17, 2021, Rita Kashi finally released her music video, Chameleon Syndrome, in her official YouTube channel. As the time of the recording, her YouTube channel has only 12,000 subscribers and her music video has only 17,000 views. The song is such an amazing song. That's why please support Rita Kashi, subscribe to her channel and watch her music video, which is the lead soundtrack of her album. And then in June 22, 2021, she released her second music video, Yuyutsu for the opening theme song of Girl Gun Lady from Bandai Spirit Drama TV series. Which included in her first EP, Tomei Nafusen. Other songs included in her first EP are Unhealthy Society, One Per Magnetic, and How Many. And for Rita Kashi's future roles for 2022, she will back again to voice Sumi Sakurasawa from Kanojo Okari Shimas. And she will voice the main character Shiba from the new anime series Totsukuni no Shoujo. For the to be announced, she will voice the main heroine Ninim Rale from the new anime series Tensai Oji. Rita Kashi has a numerous streams. She dreams to become a voice actress, voice a male character, radio show with her friend, solo radio show, become a singer, and she managed to achieve all of her dreams. She wanted to experience the world of Seiyu. Her ambition is to voice a character where only she can bring out the charm of the character. And she totally succeeded on that. Example of one of her character, she voiced that she bring out the charm of the character is Megumin. Megumin is a fan favorite. A lot of people love the character of Megumin. They really enjoy when she is chanting her explosion. That's why a lot of people praising Rita Kashi's voice acting as Megumin, especially her voice acting in the final explosion vs. Sylvia in the Konosuba movie. And for me, that is one of my favorite voice acting. Whenever Rita Kashi is playing a character, she is far from playing herself. Rather, she is the one becoming the character. Rita Kashi's voice acting always fascinates me. She puts a lot of effort to bring out the full potential of the character. When Rita Kashi preparing for Takagi-san, she said that she will start it from the things that Takagi likes to do, her favorite Nishikata's reaction, the things that the fans of the original work wish for, and etc. So she gathered thoughts like this before the first recording session, as well as written down notes and character memos. Rita Kashi said that if she did not do this, she won't able to grasp the image of the character. Even though she knows the direction of the acting changes at the studio, but for her, she has to fix the fundamental clearly in her mind since the time is limited at the studio. For her doing like this make her capture the situation clearly. And also another reason why, Rita Kashi do this because of the pressure. And a good example of this is teasing master Takagi-san. There are a lot of fans of the manga. That's why there are a lot of pressure and responsibility for her. That is why she want to capture the image of the ideal heroine of the fans through the anime. For her, that is something a voice actor has to put in effort for. Rita Kashi is a hardworking and passionate to improve. That she even checked her script for 4 hours. And for me, that is dedication to improve. The amount of commitment and agony she puts in her career is profound. That once she opens her mouth, you will feel that the character is alive. She takes her job seriously and with 100% passion. Because she really loves being a voice actress. Her love for it cannot be weight or measured. Every time she voices a character, she thinks that she is the character. She makes the character so real and existential. Growing up, she has been active and joyful kid that is good at what she does. When she tries doing something, she always proves that she will master and learn how to do it. In her life, she managed to do a lot of things. She is a bright person that is always striving. 
That's why her skill is astounding. And the way she can suddenly turn in a character in a snap is just fantastic. When Rita Kashi heard about the plans for Konosuba movie, her tears would not stop flowing. And when Konosuba recording ended, she even had an emotional realization. She felt a gaping hole in her heart when she realized it ended. Rita Kashi said that it was not a sad feeling. For her, it was feeling of loss. She still picked up her script and looked through it again. It said it was fun and wondered how it looks when the production is completed. That show how she really loved playing as Megumin and also work again with her fellow cast members. Rita Kashi is a true meaning of having peace of mind because she doesn't question what she wants in her life because she knows she is toward to what she loves and she is not stopping, she's just enjoying and continuing. She wished to convey the charm of all this wonderful character and to show it to everyone. Rita Kashi's mission is just to be a polished voice actress with the number of characters now as well as the wide collection of voice actors are available. She may be replaced by another voice actor. There must be a reason for her to get chosen. Even then, Rita Kashi is sure that there are characters whose appeal and charm can only drawn out by her. She would like to keep that in her mind as she continued to advance being a voice actress. But she is not aiming to become a popular. She just loves what she does. She just want to able to continue in the industry. While Rita Kashi chasing her dream to become a voice actress, she discovered that she loves acting. Since acting is something expressing yourself using your entire body, she really had interest in it. Ever since she being told a voice actor is an actor back in training school, Rita Kashi always wanted to appear on a stage someday. Rita Kashi realized that she loves acting, how acting was enjoyable and amusing too. For her, every day was stimulating and it made her feel something throughout her whole body. That make her really love the expression of acting and now, she finally achieved her dream of becoming a voice actress. For her, it was more like a fulfilling her dream. For her, it was not a goal. She just want to continue on doing it no matter where she ends up. For her, that is her dream, not her goal. That's why she was really thankful for the people helping her to improve. Especially whenever she cannot meet the expectation of the director. And when the director questioned her performance, that always stung her and made her frustrated. That's why she wanted to prove that she can meet the expectation of the director. So she will gather her thoughts and try it again until she meet the expectation of the director. Rita Kashi wants to enliven the rules that have been given to her to the best of her ability. That's why she wants to learn how to make use of the expression well so she can bring us a quality of words. Rita Kashi lives each day to the fullest in order to improve and become a splendid voice actress, singer, and expressive individual. Rita Kashi wants to enjoy 120% of that process while sharing with us.